Well, I'm in a forest in a thunderstorm. It's been thundering all over the place, but uh, it hasn't been lightning flashing, but it's been doing it most of the afternoon. Now, hopefully it won't plur down on me, but I'm in the middle of a forest, and apparently there's a pilgrimage route that goes through here, and I'm hoping I'll be able to find some medieval campsites. And if they all camped in the same place, they're going to lost medieval stuff. So that's the hope, and we'll find out whether the theory works out or not. See you at the first find. Hopefully I won't get struck by lightning. You never know. I'm on the road of a pilgrimage. Well, yesterday, the moment I got out of the car, the clouds came over, thunder started clapping, lightning started striking, and I had to pack it in immediately. I can tell you it was a massive thunderstorm. In one hand, a metal spade. In the other hand, a carbon fiber rod. Oh yes, let's be barbecue. So anyway, I called it a day, didn't get anything done, but I'm out here again today. It's gonna to do the same in a few hours, but I thought I'd get some in. Now all my fields are under crop, but this is 500 acres of historic woodland that's never been detected, and I'm free to go where I like. So I'm gonna do a bit of sampling, see if I can find some hot spots. I'm fed up with watching Clug Shizer Dan finding hordes of this and hordes of that. I need some of that myself. I'm not jealous really, Dan. I think your stuff's brilliant. I can't help but be fascinated by all the things you find in Woodland. I never find anything, but today it's gonna change. Now, a lot of this forest is under deep fern, but every now and again, you get big bald patches under trees, and that's where I'm gonna prospect and see if I can find any hotspots. And this is the first one, right by a main road. And you can hear the main road. Doesn't look like much in the video, but it's a good hour, hour and a half worth of detecting here. And you never know what you're gonna find right by a big road in a historic forest that's never been detected. That's the theory. Let's see what we find. Very hot in here, I tell you, it's sweltering. Anyway, first find of the day, I found about three pieces of foil, one neatly crunched up to make a really good signal. Nice person who did that. And this is the first find of the day, which I don't know what it is. Everything seems to turn this black in this soil here, but I guessing that this is a fired musket ball. So first round ball of the day. High hopes, low returns, found absolutely nothing in this lovely little spot that was bound to give me some really good stuff, but it didn't, so onward we push. Well, here's my next prospecting spot, a nice big old oak tree on a junction. So hopefully someone sat down here and lost their gold coins, or silver coins, or gob coins, or a button or two, anything will do. Well, here we are, first decent signal, 81, probably a rifle shell, I reckon. A modern one for hunting boar, but we'll see, could be a coin, I'm hoping. And it's right here. And it's right there. And it's right there, look at that, damn it. <laughs> oh well, one more for the trash bag. Well, that was also a wipeout. I've got a bit of foil, I've got a bit of modern trash, nothing of interest at all. And, you know, it's quite hard going. It is incredibly hot in here and humid. I mean, after the thunderstorm, everything's wet. It's like being in a sauna here. You can tell, can't you? But anyway, last piece of land I'm gonna give a try. I'm pretty much pooped already. I've only been at it for about an hour and a half, but you know, it's pretty tiring when you don't find anything. And I see if this little bit of land here has got something on for us. Well, at this rate, guys and girls, this might be the lot of it. I think it's some sort of electrical terminal, but that's about it so far. I've been out here hours. This is the only thing else I found, and it's a shot bullet by the looks of it. Wrecked. Nothing for all my pains and efforts. And those pains and efforts are real. Several lessons learned. One is I've broken the grip on my dais. It's taken a fair amount of punishment, <laughs> so I need to get another one. The second thing is, Whew, I really do need to get my fitness up because after three hours of this, I'm absolutely worked out. I have to get my treasure hunting muscles back up again. And the other thing is, yeah, forests, there's nothing in them. There really isn't nothing in them. But anyway, I think for a few weeks at least, I'm going to be stuck with the forest. Oh, hardship, huh? I have 500 acres of it. There must be some good spots. I just got to find them. And I will. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, I just found a patch of real treasure. It's not the kind of treasure I was expecting, not the kind of treasure you're watching this channel for. However, this is treasure and actually worth quite a lot of money. Now that is chanterelle. Actually in France they call it Giro, and in America they call it chanterelle, and in France they call chanterelle Giro, and backwards and forwards and the wrong way around. But anyway, in America this is a chanterelle, in France this is a Giro, 
and I just found a clump of them. Ha ha ha! So you guess what I'm having for dinner tonight? You got it, chanterelle. Brilliant. I mean, I've actually hunted mushrooms my whole life. You know, not seriously, but I've always looked for them. Never found chanterelle before ever. Always on my bucket list. And now, after an afternoon, a complete waste of my energy find you find a treasure. I found another kind of treasure. Mushroom treasure. Yes! Yes, yes. And there's more. And nearby, some sep. Or at least, some bloated that can eat. And there's another little Baltius. Can't remember what it's called. I think it's called a black one, but I'm not going to pick it because it's very small. I let it grow. And there you have two perfect little seps. It's a shame to pick the little one, but it couldn't come away without the other one. So, so rather than have the slugs get the pleasure of eating them, I picked them both. Well, I'm not really interested in digging this 80. <laughs> So kind of guess what it is. And I want to find more of those mushrooms. Well, that was a massive turn up. What a way to finish a really barren hunt. Real edible treasure. And there's another little one, a baby one, but that's going to get left to grow nice and big. Now, what is that rock doing there? There's no rocks around here. I'm going to come back sometime soon and check that rock out. Another munched set. I'm going to munch the rest of it. There's a couple of young seps here, one munched and one half munched. So I thought I'd get it before, I don't know, the wild boar or whatever it was eating it got the rest of it. Well, two baby seps there. I'm going to have the bigger one and leave the other one for the fairies. Wow, delicious. I don't like picking them small, but you never find them big because the other animals eat them. So I'm getting there first. I left the little one for the fairies. And round the corner is that one. Let's zoom. Let's go get it. Wow, look at that, wow, there's another one down there. Well, it's half eaten, I'll leave it for the fairies. Well, blooming wasp keeps attacking me, go away wasp. Well, there's another beauty, how about that? In the bag it goes, and away from this stupid wasp. Well, here's that rock that I saw earlier, and here's that sep that caught my eye. We're having that one. And there is another beauty. Look at that. A few more days and this baby's going to be in the stomach of a slug. Slugs just love these things. What a beautiful specimen. Oh yes. Ah, oh, I don't mind being skunked on the treasure with all these edible treasures around. Wonderful. This is amazing. I'm having a mushroom extravaganza. And another. A little small, but I'm going to take it. Beautiful specimen, beautiful. Ooh, this is going to be delicious. Well, I'm going to leave these ones for the fairies. One, I've got enough. Two, you've got to leave some behind. Three, I break my neck getting them. And four, you've got to leave some for the fairies. Fairies like mushrooms. Everybody knows that. There's the tree with the mushrooms. And there's the car. Almost miraculous, really. Do I look hot? Do I look sweaty to you? Well, you're right, I am. It was a sore now, I was exhausted before I found that first mushroom. Because I was back at the car. And I always always say, the treasure's always by the car. And guess what? It was. And this time it was mushroom treasure. And what's more, I could come back every year and harvest this. And there's a full pound of seps in there and chanterelle, which is, you know, I don't know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks in Paris or in San Francisco. And I mean, it's a good day when I find 40 bucks worth of treasure, I can tell you. What a turn up, fantastic result, because I was a little bit depleted to say the least, not finding anything after three hours. And then, boom, a trove of mushrooms that will come back every year like clockwork, roughly the same time and yield up loads and loads of delicious mushrooms. <laughs> Isn't that great? I'm back the next day to see if I can find some more. And guess what I found? Look at the size of that. There's a big slug climbing up its stem as well, ready to munch it. And there's more down here, and there's more over there, and there's more down there too. So I'm gonna eat like a king tonight. Now that is what I call a sep. <laughs> I can't believe my luck. Eatable. I think it's just very, very wet. 
Oop. Yeah, it's definitely set. I'm having a set bonanza. I could see this particular one from the road about 50 yards away. Look at it. Oh, and there's two of them. There's this big one and there's a little one. I think we'll leave the little one behind because I think must have a couple of pounds, maybe four pounds of these now. Oh, and it just fell. <laughs> so I touched it. It just fell over. Right for the eating. Fantastic, look at that. And I think these are summer seps. And very tasty they are too. My wife has now got into the hinterland on the pursuit of yet more seps. I think she plans to dry them for Christmas. Well, if we don't eat them, the slugs will. So tough luck, slugs. Now that's what I call a haul. Four or five pounds of set mushrooms by the looks of it. Wow. 